Hey everyone, how y'all doing on this terrific Tuesday? Hope you've had a great day. And speaking of Tuesdays, it's time for a Tuesday drop zone. So let me, let me jump right into this here. Let's talk about light. Talk about light. Well, what kind of light? All kinds of lights. You know, you go into a dark room, what do you do? Flip the switch, turn the light on. Turn the light on, darkness leaves. I think we, a lot of you know that light gets rid of darkness. Light shows up, darkness has to go. Darkness is the absence of light, right? But that is what we're supposed to do, right? Don't just flip a switch. How about flip our switch? We should be the light. We should be the light. Let me, um, let's go to Matthew. Let me read this for you. Matthew 5, verse 14 uh, through 16. Um, Passion Translation. Your lives light up the world. Let others see your light from a distance. Or how can you hide a city that stands on a hilltop? And who would light a lamp then hide it in an obscure place? Instead, it's placed where everyone in the house can benefit from its light. So don't hide your light. I like the way it puts that. So don't hide your light. Let it shine brightly before others so that the commendable things you do will shine as light upon them, and then they will give their praise to your Father in heaven. See, it's about giving praise to God. It's not about drawing attention to us. It's not about us. It's all about what God does in us and the light of Jesus that's in us that's supposed to shine out for everybody to see. Last week, uh, Donnette and I went to um, a funeral for a friend of ours, a great lady, great lady. Her name was Beth, great lady. But before that, when she passed and people were posting things and stuff, and even at the funeral, there was a common thread, a common theme that people, all different people, would comment on missing her. But their comment was she would light up the room. And she would. I worked with her for several years. You knew, well, I think one guy put in there, you knew when she showed up in the office. You didn't have to see her. You come in, you'd hear her always joyful, always laughing, always just cheerful. She would literally light up the room as soon as she entered that room. It was amazing. So it was at the funeral, I was thinking, wow, it just hit me. What a testimony for her that people talked about her like that. And that's who she was. It wasn't a front, great Christian lady. But she always let the light of Jesus shine through. That's just who she was, bubbly. And I thought, wow, that's how we should be. All of us should make it a point. We should be intentional that um, until it's the point because we got Jesus in us, then we ought to let that light shine. We walk into a room. We ought to light the room up. We go wherever we're at, Walmart, shopping, Kroger, whatever, driving the road. We are supposed to be that light. So Matthew says, and that was Jesus talking. That was his word. We don't hide the light. Why? This world needs light, right? Sure, you agree with me? It needs light. So let's make it a point and let's be intentional more than ever. Let our light shine. Jesus, the light in us, let it shine for others to see. And you got to get the glory for it. And that's what it's about anyway. So let's help the world out a little bit. Let's make some dark times be light just by us showing Jesus, representing Jesus and how he is in us. All right. Hope you got a little bit of something out of it. I challenge you to let's all challenge myself. Let's let's do that. All right. So you guys have an amazing night, great night, and a great week ahead. Now we'll talk to you later. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday on Mother's Day. All right. See you then. Bye.